I'm in hydrometeorology and I study rivers in the sky or what we call atmospheric rivers. The first rule of meteorology is the atmosphere is in a constant state of chaos. If any of the ingredients change, it impacts the weather. Atmospheric rivers are one type of storm. These ribbons in the sky carry a large amount of water vapor. They form over tropical water and they can travel to reach land here in the western U.S. and also other regions of the world. They rain as they move over the ocean and can eventually reach land where they can provide more rain and snow. Atmospheric rivers come with both benefits and hazards. They actually provide us each cool season with up to half of our water supply. So they're really wow. important. We need that water supply and they also supply us with our snowpack, which is really valuable. But on the other side, if we can't understand all of the details of atmospheric rivers and when and where they're gonna hit and how intense they are, they can come with a lot of additional hazards. And so that can mean snow hazards, um, rain, wind, all of those that can lead to things like flooding, landslides, and all sorts of hazards that affect kind of like life and property. All of these observations that we get, whether it's on the ground or from airplanes in the sky or from satellites, it helps us better understand what's happening in the atmosphere and on the ground. And so we're able to incorporate all of those observations uh, to make better forecasts. And that is ultimately what's been really important.